Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today we are going about optical waveguide in Physics XTPM Semester 3. Nowadays, fiber optics are very useful to us. We use this fiber optic in communication, medical and others. What is fiber optic? Okay, fiber optic use a strand of optical lip your glass as thin as human hair. As you can look at this picture, how thin is this fiber optic? A fiber optic cable consists of hundreds of these fiber optic arranged in bundle which are protected by an outer jacket. Structure of fiber optic Fiber optic consists of core, cladding and coating. Core is a thin glass fiber of diameter 0.01 mm and less. Light travel in the core. Cladding is optical material of lower refractive index N2 which is less than the refractive index N1 of the core. Repeated total internal refraction occur at the core cladding interface. Buffer coating is plastic coating that protects the fiber optic from damage. Principal use in fiber optic is total internal reflection. Total internal reflection occur when incident ray is bigger than critical angle. According to Snell law for refraction at an interface, N1 sin theta 1 equal to N2 sin theta 2, N1 sin C equal to N2 sin 90 degree. So critical angle C equal to inverse sin N2 over N1. For total internal reflection to occur at the core cladding interface, light must enter the fiber optic at an angle less than theta maximum. As you can see in this picture, light travel in fiber optic. Okay, this is a figure of fiber optic. The center here is called a, a core with refractive index N1 and surrounding with cladding with refractive index N2. N1 bigger than N2. When incident ray with angle theta maximum, okay, in air medium, pass through in core medium, which is N1, okay, the ray will refract at angle alpha. Okay, alpha, angle alpha must be less than 90 degree minus C. So that it will refract at core cladding interface. Okay, this one. Okay, core cladding interface. So incident uh, when it refract at cladding interface, so incident angle there will be bigger than uh, critical angle okay, to produce total internal reflection. Then by using uh, Snell law for refraction at an interface. Okay, N3 sin theta 3 equal to N1 sin theta 1. So, N3 sin theta maximum equal to N1 sin, theta, sin alpha. So, equal to N3 
a medium so n equal to 1 is sine theta maximum less than n1 sine 90 degree minus critical angle or equal to n1 cos critical angle so we can simplify this equation okay like this like this figure as we know sine c equal to n2 over n1 okay so c c we can draw it by uh, triangle so we so c okay c so sine c equal to uh, opposite over uh, hypotenuse okay opposite over hypotenuse so n2 over n1 okay by using uh, theorem pythagoras pythagoras theorem okay we can find a junction here equal to square root n1 square minus n2 square and we know that this side is alpha angle so for sine alpha okay equal to okay, opposite of uh, hypotenuse okay opposite of a hypotenuse so we get sine theta maximum less than n1 square root n1 square minus n2 square divided by n1 when we substitute sine alpha here sine alpha so sine alpha equal to sub or sub n1 square minus n2 square divided by n1 so we can cancel out n1 so we get sine theta maximum less than so n1 square minus n2 square so theta maximum less than inverse sine so n1 square minus n2 square Okay, the uses of fiber optic. Okay, fiber optic can be used for transmit telephone, internet, and television signal. And also can be used in medical imaging and mechanical imaging. There are many advantages of fiber optic. Okay, first, they are thinner. So, more fiber can be bundled into a given diameter cable. So, the carrying capacity increase. So, I can make more phone line and channel. Second, lower attenuation. That means the loss of signal strength in network cable or connection will be lower so less repeater are required lower power can be used to transmit signal and another one no electric current flow so signal do not experience electromagnetic interference waveguard Waveguide is a structure that guide wave, sound wave, and electromagnetic wave. Example, a tin can telephone. So, a wire as waveguide. And a medical stethoscope. Hollow uh, tube as waveguide. Example, the core of an optical fiber has diameter D equal to 2.00 meter and refractive index of 1.63. The refractive index of the cladding is 1.50. A. 
determine the maximum angle for which the light ray incident on the end of the road in the figure are subject to total internal reflection at the co-cladding interface B. Hence, what is the size of the apex angle of the cone of acceptance for the uh, fiber optic? Okay, solution. Okay, to find the maximum angle, okay, maximum angle, so that means to find the theta maximum. As we know, sine critical angle equal to N2 over N1. So, N2 is 1.5 divided by N1, 1.63. So, we get critical angle equal to 67.0 degree. So, uh, alpha okay, equal to 90 degree minus critical angle. So, we get 23 degree. By using this equation, so we can find the theta maximum equal to 39.6 degree. Okay, B. What is the size of a pack angle? Okay, a pack angle. Okay. Okay, like this. Okay, so we can multiply theta maximum by 2. So we get equal to 72 point, uh, 7 and 79.2 degree. Okay, that's all. Thank you.